Greetings, free thinkers. Welcome to the Hogcast. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing fine. I certainly am. Okay, what do we have for you on today's episode? We have for you the Loudoun County School Board. You know that this is the epicenter of woke um, nonsense, in my opinion. And this is one of the most high profile areas where they're pushing some very strange things right out of the Frankfurt School on to actual schools okay and parents have had enough now matt walsh from the matt walsh blog excuse me matt walsh from the matt walsh blog it's a tongue twister they've gone to loudon county to speak and he's given quite a good speech to the school board there you could argue, we're going to watch it, you could argue that maybe he was a little bit too aggressive in his wording, but my opinion is people have about had enough. I mean, it's this, the concept of toler tolerance is a good thing. The concept of change can be a good thing, but let's apply it evenly. I mean, it always seems to be the people who preach about tolerance have zero tolerance for you or me or even our ideas even our words it's like we're not allowed to speak even our thoughts it's like we're not allowed to think you're not allowed to even think anything oh well you can't think that because you might do something that's what the left say oh well yeah if, if you if you think that that means you might do it that's a thought crime that's that is that's for criminals. Anyway, look, let's see what he had to say at the Loudoun County School Board. Why these people are still employed, I have no idea. Whoever, you know, the vote blue, no matter who crowd, you get what you deserve. But there's mo there is a lot of parents out there who are stuck in these um, districts and count and counties who are horrified at what their children are going through. So look, let's get into this video uh, clip. If you haven't yet though, please like the video if you find it informative. Subscribe to the Hogcast, hit the notification bell and share the video around. We have a membership scheme now. We have five amazing members so far, you know who you are, that value my commentary enough to become a paying member. So if you want to support the Hogcast, you can do that that way and I am humbled that there is even five people worldwide that value my commentary. It's a very humbling thing. Anyway, let's go. Okay, so let's check this out. I wouldn't think you all allowed me to speak to you tonight, but you tried not to allow it. Yeah, here I am. Now you only give us 60 seconds and let me get to the point. If you are all you prey upon professional children and indoctrinate them into your insane ideological cult, a cult which holds many fanatical views, but none so deranged as the idea that boys are girls and girls are boys. By imposing this vile nonsense on students to the point even of forcing young girls to share locker rooms with boys, you deprive these kids of safety and privacy and something more fundamental too, which is truth. If education is not grounded in truth, then it is worthless. Worse, it is poison. You are poison. You are predators. I can see why you try to stop us from speaking. You know that your ideas are indefensible. You silence the opposing side because you have no argument. You can only hide under your beds like pathetic little gutless cowards hoping we shut up and go away, but we won't. I promise you that. Thank you for your time, I'll talk to you again very very soon. And that was his uh, rather aggressive 60 second um, speech to the Loudoun County Board. This, look at these, look, these uh, reporters who have come, they're only here to hear what he's got to say. But look at his eyes, look, this is, this here is a typical leftist out of college, got his first job at CNN, well, vote blue no matter who, he agrees with all of the school board's recommendations, and look at the eyes. This is the eyes of some, this is what you get from the left, it's just, no matter how serious a problem is, the more it affects you and your family, the more they laugh and smile, and you can see it in their eyes. Um, Joy Reid, remember there was a, a, a mother, at another, it wasn't Loudoun County, but there was another school board meeting, and the mother was almost in tears, talking about how CRT um, has basically poisoned the school, and her daughter was made to feel ashamed of 
her own shape, her own background. And of course she shared the same background as me. Or you, I should imagine. And Joy Reid, the MSNBC host, I'm sure you know who she is, she laughed her head. You could see how happy she was at the mother's distress. And this guy here, the Matt Walsh, is obviously angry. That's why he's given quite an aggressive statement at the Loudoun County School Board. And then it's the same thing we see over and over again. Woke journalist. That's You can't see his mouth because he's wearing a bib. That typical Antifa bib type thing. But his eyes. A, a mouth can lie. But the eyes never lie. And look. It's just it's a joke to him. This is what I've seen this all my life. It's all a joke to the left. Everything, it's just a game to them. And they don't care how much taxpayers money gets wasted. How many people who probably shouldn't have been allowed into the neighborhood or the country at large are allowed in and do bad things and so on and so on defunding the police and so on. all of these all and they just laugh about it it's like they don't it's like they're sheltered from reality itself i don't understand it so you you we're seeing these things in the school boards meetings um a lot and, it, and in my opinion it's a good thing because it shows that parents really have had enough um but how do you how do you see these people the the democrat the woke left the whole set they tell you that change is good right no matter what it is change equals good right so we have this heavily entrenched wokeism in schools now we're suggesting let's change it because we believe quite rightly that it is poison and it's going to damage the minds of the next generation now all of a sudden they're wholeheartedly opposed to change nope change is change is bad now now that they've got what they want change becomes bad explain that one to me but you could you you wouldn't they wouldn't if you ask them they'll just laugh at you insult you and then move on they never explain themselves now let's go back and watch again because there's a couple of things he said that i agree with I want to thank you all for allowing me to speak to you tonight. You tried not to allow it. Yeah, here I am. Now you only give us 60 seconds and let me get to the point. If you are all so in other words, he wanted to speak. I mean, he's getting to speak now, but they tried to stop him from speaking. They didn't want to hear what he had to say because they, as he's about to say, and you heard him when we played it the first time, they don't want plebs questioning them. They don't think you have the right to do that. Your offspring are their offspring. That's that's the way the state sees it, or the Democrats see it, because they love the state. They are the state. I don't think you should have said that. Um, in fact, I might have to actually uh, mute that. But he suggest he, he referred to them as being um, how does the quarter quartering say it? Uh, P to the E to the D to the O's. <laughs> now this is the thing, right? And he's making a good good point here. Now, look, if you want to evolve into something else, that's up to you, your business. But it's concerning a lot of people that you seem to be, instead of focusing on trying to get adults with dysmorphia or, or I can't remember the exact term I could use the common vernacular term but I don't want to okay but instead of focusing on them the adults they seem to have this bizarre obsession with forcing it onto very young students and a lot of people quite rightly question your intentions behind that why would you do that but getting back to his point we are becoming a civilization in the west which was once the pride of planet earth we're becoming a place where we go back to believing in things like miasmas witchcraft and things like that because that's what it is i mean if you think that you can evolve or if you can transmute yourself from one gender to another there are people out there who would would question why you're doing that because 
If your teaching is possible to do that, what's the next step? What what do you teach then? The Earth's flat? I mean, come on, if we're going to ignore biology, which is science, why don't we ignore physics? Why don't we teach people that they can flap their arms and then just take off like a bird? Chemistry. Why don't we teach people that, you know, I'm not even going to say that, but just a bunkum, a, chem a chemical bunkum story. Think of something yourself. If biology means nothing, then surely everything any other field of science does. It's this double standards, double think, cognitive dissonance, hypocrisy and cherry picking that drives so many people mad. By imposing this vital nonsense on students to the point even of forcing young girls to share locker room with boys, you deprive these kids. See, that is probably one of the most egregious examples of what's happening. Really it is. I mean, you, and we've all been high schoolers in, in our lives. I mean, just think of that, swapping them around and then letting them mix together. How? What an absurd idea. And I'm sure you know why. It's of safety and privacy. It's something more fundamental too, which is true. You see, this is the thing. You often see conservatives saying things like that. Safety, privacy, freedom, um, the truth. With the left, all of that gets replaced. It gets replaced with equity. Things like that, like these really vague concepts. For example, the conservative will use the term truth. Truth is a definite term, not open to interpretation, not open to the possibility of having the goalposts moved. Then the left will come along and say equity. Equity is very vague. Equity can function as something that allows goalposts to be moved, always to suit the um, speaker. And you will see that pattern replayed countless times in the culture war. Now I've said it, if you've gotten this far in the video, keep it in mind and you'll, you'll see what I mean. The conservatives will say something that is concrete. The left will counter with something that is extremely vague. If education is not grounded in truth, then it is worthless. Worse. Yes, that's what I mean. That's what I was saying about physics and biology and chemistry and so on. If biology can mean nothing, so can physics, so can chemistry. Hell, we can, let's just teach people that we can all zoom around at the speed of light. Why not? It is poison. You are poison. You are predators. I Again, I don't think you should have said that, but I will make an exception because people are angry. I see why you can't stop us from speaking. You know that your ideas are Yes, this is the chief aim of the um, the woke set as a whole. The very first tactic is to try to smear you, to stop you, to shut you up. That is the very first line of defense they have. Because they cannot allow an even playing field. Because, as I said with the vague and the concrete statements, they know that in the public eye, when a light's shone on it, their ideas will be obliterated. So they need a society, they need to be in a position where their ideas can never be challenged. And again, this is a pattern, it's conforming to a pattern. It's only one side of the culture war that does that. Only one side, whether it's Canada, United States, Australia, Britain, France, Germany, Sweden, Denmark, Norway, always the same the same pattern happening again and again and again you silence the opposing side because you have no argument you don't yeah they hide under your beds like pathetic little gutless cowards hoping we shut up and go away but we won't i promise you that thank you for your time i'll talk to you again very very soon and there he is look with his face so uh, I think I'll leave it there. Um, let me know what you guys think about the whole issue. Um, I'd love to hear what you got to say in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't yet, please like the video. If you found it informative, subscribe to the podcast, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.